Okay. Uh, threat to weight is 1.13. Um, do I not have the thing that shows me the aerodynamics? This thing is not the best. Basically, this guy, theoretically, the, the more faster he gets, the worse he's going to get. So, uh, here we're going to do uh, unmanned, well, I got UAV-1. <laughs> I thought I was going to be all really intelligent and stuff and name this thing, and then I'm like, oh, wait. Uh, we don't have solar panels yet, right? No, we don't. So the only thing that's going to be generating power is this thing. Okay, right, so here we go. We're going to launch our first aircraft. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that this thing doesn't end up being too bad. Okay, so first things first. Break. Break. I'm also going to turn the engine on. It only has half fuel. Why are we already short on fuel? I want it producing power. Whoa, whoa, whoa. we're going off the runway. <laughs> okay. Uh Yeah, that was something, wasn't it? <laughs> uh stability wouldn't be too bad, but I really have no need for these things right now. So we'll wait for the moment before we spend our science here. That's right. I can't see any orbital bodies, can I? So So you notice something here. We can't see anything past Jewel. And we can't see anything beyond Eve. So we start with the knowledge of Eve, Duna, 
and Jewel. That's it. And we have our two moons. So we actually have to like track stuff. So I've got to track this thing for a while until I actually get to see where it's going. So right now I'm tracking two different objects. These two right here. Once I track them long enough, it will give me their orbital information and stuff like that. So for the moment at least. Um, what I'm going to do... Well, that's kind of weird. Let's actually recover this debris. I'm going to go to our observatory here. Did I click on it? Kerbin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Midmas. Mm -hmm. Eve. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Duna. Mm -hmm. So right now we only know of Kerbin, our two moons, Eve, Duna, and Jewel. We actually have to put other guys up in orbit with telescopes <laughs> to find out about stuff. That's good to know. Alright, so uh, did I research anything? Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. That's why we're doing unmanned stuff. So we're gonna just launch this guy again. But this time I'm not going to screw up. I'm actually going to put on SAS. <sighs> nice, we're going to break. Seismic Geiger temperature. So Geiger, no point. Only actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna keep that, keep it, everything that we're doing, and we're gonna cover the vessel. Basically, okay, so let's just collect everything as we're sitting on it, and then we'll do our our launch. I'd rather do this a little bit more safely. Yeah, these are the exact same units. I like that I added that as an option in the game now. So you can just keep launching the same the same vessel over and over again if you want. Like when you're coming to doing like uh, comm satellites, you can launch the same because you'll be launching five, six, seven, eight of these uh, these satellites. There's still more. Point two science. Yeah, I could care less about point two science. All right. So engine is on. And what I want to know is, why are we already in the hole for fuel here? Well, SAS is going to be on. Why are we pulling... We are pulling to the left quite a bit here.
I don't think these wheels are straight. Whoa! We are crazy. Maneuverable when it comes to turning. This thing's definitely going to be good to go here. Got to make sure we don't turn too much. Let's try to get some science out this way. We're going to slow down a little bit. Very efficient engine, I'll give it that. We're halfway through the fuel, though. What if I put a rocket on this thing? How high and how fast I could get it? Our engines are also not uh, charging that well. So currently the highest we can fly is 4,000 meters. 43, 44. And it's slowing down, so 8.4, 8.3 seconds. 5,000 meters. The 500 is the highest we'll be able to fly at. Okay, let's level out here. Oh, oh, no, oh. let's go back up a little bit. Damn, this thing is... I think I might remove the canards to make it low. Whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. So the faster we go, the more, like, unstable this thing is. The moment we break 100, well, 180, this thing becomes ridiculously unstable. Whoa. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, come on. Come on. There we go, come on. Level out. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna get a one-third thrust. Basically, I just want to get to the mountains. Starting to do our wobble again. That wobble is definitely kind of. I mean, we're definitely going to have to redesign this thing, but I think it's because of this. Like, we're not the most aerodynamic at the front. I think that's possibly the 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 issue. It's highly probable that that's the issue. 